Hello and welcome to Vastrakala by VS Creations. After the earlier tutorial on shape filling stitches that are ideally suitable for working petals and leaves, shouldn't we learn some more stitches which can be suitable for leaves, ferns, creepers, sprigs, etc. So here we are with a demo of three unique stitches ideal for leaves, sprigs, etc. The first one is called the leaf stitch. See how close this takes up to this lovely plant from my garden. To make this stitch, bring the thread through the lower end of the design and make a sloping stitch to the other end. Bring out the thread from the same side and take it to the opposite side. You can draw two reference lines in the center if required to guide through. For ease of understanding, I am demonstrating the stitch in the shape of a large leaf but as the way I have used this in the piece of needle painted art, you too can customize and make the stitches wider or longer as per your design requirements. The next stitch is the Bukhara couching. This stitch is useful and ornamental for filling shapes of leaves and petals of flowers. In this artwork, I have used it to give an ornamental and nice 3D effect to the flower pot by using all the six strands of the embroidery floss. And in this demonstration of a leaf, I am using only two strands as we normally do. It is worked in the same way as Romanian stitch but the small tying stitches are set at regular intervals over the laid thread to form pattern lines across the shape. You can check out the working of Romanian stitch from my earlier video of shape filling stitches. The tying stitches should be pulled tight leaving the laid thread slightly loose between. Here I have tied the threads at three different places as you can see to get a three dimensional effect suitable for a leaf pattern. While in my artwork I have kept the ties diagonally to get a basket kind of effect. Then we have the V tier stitch. This stitch is worked across two parallel lines. This stitch can be very helpful in creating designs of some long creepers or sprigs. Though this is worked between two lines, not necessary that the two lines need to be straight. To work, make two straight stitches as shown and bring the thread through below these two stitches and pass the needle under the two without entering the fabric and insert the needle into the same point. From here again make two sloping straight stitches and continue in this pattern. Hope you all liked this video and learnt a few new stitches. See you all soon with a new video of different set of stitches and their applications.
Please subscribe to this channel and click on the bell icon to watch our videos and learn to create your own designs.